Hello and welcome to a YouTube Beers. I have a unboxing video for you guys, along with some extra stuff. Today I just finally got my PlayStation Vita right here. But before I get to that, let's start off with the extra stuff. Um, I already have a game. I chug off. I already opened it already, guys. So this is a little extra here. Um. In here, you get your little gaming card, it's right there, and your online pass to activate. Um, there's nothing really that special. Um, that's mostly it for that there. And we have this, the cradle stand, to make the video stand up and stuff, while it also charges it up as well. So. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. <coughs> A little cough in there. Sorry, guys. And we got the 16 gig Vita memory card. As well as the startup kit, which came comes with the 4 gig. I just it's already been open, guys. So, <coughs> sorry, I was kind of felt like someone you know, grabbed my neck and like start choking me if I'm coughing like that. That happens from time to time. <coughs> now let's get to the unboxing and don't worry about the accessories. We'll get to those um, next. So give me a second here to um, take this on the side. I just got this today. I got this from Amazon of course. There you go. Oh uh, yeah, when you guys are opening uh, this little tape, you may pull that up there a little bit, but... Okay, there we go guys, let's get started and open this. <coughs> okay guys, let's, let's see what we got in here. It looks like we got a... Along with play, so for up to three years from the day of purchase. Uh, that's if you want to put protection on your console and you know keep it safe up to three years. It's always good to do that. And if you guys are wondering what this here is. These are the ultimate reality cards. Um, those yeah, AR play cards, but are ultimate reality cards. I think you guys can see that. Okay. Um, we'll get to the cards and stuff a little later. <coughs> um, okay. Alright, here we open the compartment. Uh, welcome to the world of PlayStation. Pretty awesome. Our standard, um, cable power cord. Just like for all the models, as you know, it has the uh, two round little tip edges. It's always the 125 volt wiring, or 125V, I'm just going to say, I don't want to see volting. So I'll put that to the side over there. In our, we have our, okay, sorry guys, I'm trying to make sure I'm not, um, it's so it's in front of the camera view. AC power little adapter or whatever you want to call it <coughs> that you plug it in there and you plug the other wiry which goes into the console or you can plug it right into the back of here and charge it up too and stuff I'll put that to the side as well and next we got our cable this will plug into the end of Vita let me take it out of the back guys so I get a better, you guys can get a better close up Yep, so you can just like the stand. And at the end, there's a USB which plugs into it. You know, this is really good. It comes in handy. Um, they do have a car charger. I might end up getting that later. But for now, and we'll go. we got a PlayStation little manual. PlayStation Vita manual. Mm, pretty awesome. But I don't need to read it right now. 
Um, we got some more extra stuff. Quick start guy here. So, it's pretty cool. <coughs> um, it, it shows you how to use your PlayStation Vita for the first time. You need a memory card for the PlayStation Vita system. There's a PlayStation Vita card. Uh, and there's a SIM card if you have the 3D version. I don't have the 3D, so my Vita is the Wi-Fi version. I didn't really have a need for the other one. Well, if you guys did have the 3G version, there will be an opening at the side of your Vita for the SIM card to go into. So, pretty awesome. Okay, I'm gonna just hold this back up, guys. And hold on for a second, guys. <coughs> Um, I was just turning them on my computer because I needed to make sure I put the right date down. I don't keep track of what day is what day. And every system console has a date and time you have to set up and I'm going to set it up per right. Now let's go ahead and get to the main system itself right now. Uh, I think you guys can see it. Let me just turn this on. Okay. Um, okay, that should be good. <coughs> Go to the system console itself. Oh man, Vita, Vita, Vita. Trust me, guys, Vita is awesome. Let's go ahead and unwrap this in here. And as you may not know, they use the same stuff with the PlayStation 3 um, PSP, I think, so or not. No, I don't remember. No, they didn't use it for the PSP, but they do usually use this little special foamy stuff for mostly a lot of stuff. Oh man, let's take this. Oh, I can. Oh man, this console is so so lovely here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Look at that. This baby is so slim. Bigger than the PSP, longer than the PSP a little bit, and wider. Oh my god, it's so awesome. All oh, the analogs are so incredible, guys. Oh my god. The feel to it is so perfect. The D-pad, the buttons. Oh man. You guys, you guys got to make sure you guys, you pre-order yourself one. Man, this is so lovely. Um... I want to be careful so I don't end up touching the screen and stuff. I will put the screen protector on and show you guys how to. Um, there's the you know camera, the back touch pad. Oh, it feels good there. It's, we have a slot. You know, Sony has not real much info on this slot yet, but this is where the Vita memory card goes. Oh, make sure I didn't touch the screen. And then this is where the memory stick goes and you get your headphone jack and your little charge put right here. I know you guys probably can't see it because of my blinds, but don't worry guys. Not everything in life is perfect. Um I'm gonna go ahead and set that right there. Now let's get to the accessory kit so we can put the screen protector over the Vita because we don't want to get smudges, prints and stuff over the screen. If you guys don't want to touch it with your fingers, they do sell on Amazon accessories where you could, it's kind of like a pen, it's like a little pen, touchy pen. You, you guys know what I mean, they sell those up there. If you guys don't know what it is, just ask me and I'll look it up for you guys. And, or you guys can look it up yourselves as well. Well. Um, I guess I can show you the accessories too. This is it. You put your games and two um, video memory cards and, and a lot of games you can fit in here. I'll go ahead and open it up for you guys. And I got the 4G right there. Oh, you have a lot of slots. And at the bottom too and an extra room for a second memory card. So that comes in handy. And you got the headphones. These aren't the ones for 19 and they, that was probably shown before or whatever that you guys may have seen these are 
kind of the ones that came with the PSP. It's just relabeled PlayStation Vita. But I went to go ahead and got the other ones. Those should be here by next week. Because I, I really don't like building to the headphones unless pretty much I don't like them that much. And we got the pocket pouch. So, goes in there. I'll just set that right back there. Here we go, the screen protector. It's easy to put on and apply too, guys. Um, I'm not sure how to do it. The little sticker things right here. I'm at the little paper. It'll show you how to. <coughs> hey guys. Well, after so many attempts, because you know so much dust in the air, I managed to get the screen protector on. Um, I managed to get all the. I smoothed it out as possible to get all the air bubbles out. So I think we're good. We'll suffer there. Part of right here is kind of sticking up now. I think I should have probably got me a pro to put the screen protector on. Who's good at this stuff? I'm not that good. I think next time I'll let someone else do it for me. Um. Okay, guys. Uh, let's see. Okay, we got the little Vita memory card. Well, I'm gonna go ahead and put that. It goes right into here. So, let's try to open this. Okay. Okay. So you can see that little opening, that's where the video memory card goes. <coughs> this does kind of go. Okay, there we go. <coughs> it does come out a little bit, but be careful you don't, you don't rip it or anything. Okay, it snaps on, it's easy. I got it on the right way. Remember, the name 4 gig should be pointing towards the back, and the one with the little wiring, little gold strips, should be on top. And you push it in with your fingernail. If you have fingernails, I have a little bit. And there we go. We got that in there. So we're good right there. You guys wonder where the memory. Uh, we get game cards. It goes right into that. And then we have another apartment here. But I'm guessing, because that didn't came in here, that's going to be another accessory to buy. That's what I'm guessing. Looks thin. Maybe it could be a video output, but they say that there wasn't one. Maybe that's a surprise or something. Well, we'll know about more of it later. Okay. Um, before I do turn it on, yes, it will fit into here perfectly and stuff. You slide it in, once you have it slide in, do this, just nicely pull and then you go. You get it in the pocket pouch, you can walk with it anywhere you go. But, now let's get on to turning it on. Okay guys. Moment of truth. Turn on. Hold on a second, guys. I think it may not be charged up. You guys, let's see if this turns on now. Oh, there we go, we got some light. Uh, it doesn't look like it's been charged. Oh, there we go. Oh, man. I had me worried there for a second. I thought I was going to probably have to set it back. So we just swipe. Awesome. Um, United States, of course. English. Look at that. I'm not sure. You, yeah, you guys probably can't see that. <laughs> Give me a second here, guys. I'm just going to have to set this. Hey, guys. I had to, you know, switch the berries out. Um, but you guys probably didn't notice that. But anyway, that's it right there. Sorry, the camera's not, you yeah. know. Thank you.
Okay, this is the home screen. The home screen is where you store the applications. Welcome bar is tap. Okay. Mm, pretty cool.